Winter night, what says dinner better than a hot bowl of homemade chicken soup? Nothing to me. We've got, <laughs> we've got the man who knows all about it, Executive Chef John Hogan from River Roast Restaurant. John, good to see you again. Good to see you, Corey. It's good Thanks to see for you. being here. And it I wish, smells incredible. I wish our here. viewers could smell this right now. Well, Pretty one, day, one day that technology will come forward. <laughs> I, know, I exactly. mean, you can just smell the butter when you walk in here. Yeah. Excellent. Let's, so you're basically offering uh, your guests an option to take home their chicken leftovers, right? right? Correct. All right, what's the concept here? The concept is whole roasted chickens, beef, pork, fish, and what we're doing is trying to reintroduce a Chicago and hopefully America to what Sunday dinner was all about when we grew up. Right, exactly. So sharing, wait a sharing food. Let, sure. let me back up just for a second. You mean to tell me if somebody comes into the restaurant, they don't eat all of their meal, right. they can take the chicken home yep. and just make this. You've got a great recipe. You say, just with, make some soup. With their check, they get a recipe for the soup, which with we the, have. With yep. their check. All right, take us through it. All, all right, right so. Deal. What we do is when we cut the chicken at the restaurant, the server will drop the quarters mm -hmm. and about two thirds of the breasts and the guests will nosh on that. And then if they like, they can pick at it, but typically two people will be enough for them. So we'll take over that leftover with the meat and the bones, throw it in a pot and add in a bunch of aromatics, celery mm -hmm. and okay. carrot. Sure. A little leek. You can do this with your eyes closed, huh, John? Certainly. <laughs> um, I, I broke one of my cardinal rules. I, somebody mixed my salt and pepper. Never do this at home. Okay. You, okay. you put and why salt not? because typically it settles a little bit, and you don't you don't have the ability to season the food properly. Gotcha. Okay. okay yeah, a little chef tip there. Good. Definitely. Yeah. And so what we're going to do with this is let those veggies sweat a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add chicken stock over the top. Now you've got the real thing going right there, but we can just use one of those you, little you can use a little stock in a can. Sure, or, yeah. sure, and, and a little bit of water. Okay. And this chicken gets smoked for about 20 minutes. Okay. So you, those nuances of the smoke come out in the broth, and it really is super special and very warming. What do people say, John, when they when you give them a recipe with their check and you they're, tell they're, them basically what to do with that right. chicken? Right. They're very pleased because most people, I don't know why they're intimidated to make a simple soup, but they are. Exactly. And this shows you how simple it is. Because we would much rather open up a can or have somebody else make it for us. But Correct. that was just five or six steps. That's so it. simple. That's it. Well, plus, John, you're getting a two-for-one deal, really, right? Right. right. Yeah, you get your dinner, and then the next day you can make a meal out of a soup. And on a day like today, what's better than a bowl of grape? You know, hot soup. Yeah, homemade too. Sure. Yeah. And instead of doing this with noodles, you have rice. I have a little in front rice, us, huh? which we par cooked. Yeah. Uh, you can do it with noodles. I, I like lentils, so okay. you could use any legume, any any uh, sure. pasta. Don't sure. call them noodles. Yeah. Tony yeah, Montalano right, right. says, do not call pasta noodles. Right, right. Okay, right. Sorry, Tony. okay, I got that. I got this. So, straight. so this is what the uh, what the what it looks like when it comes to your table. Correct. That's a beautiful presentation there. These are sustainably. Very well raised chickens from Indiana, local product, and then we serve them with our river roast potatoes that are like so addicting. They're just, as you can see, <laughs> you got to stay away from so them. So you're talking about chicken, but what's up with the What's pig? this little guy here? What's this, this is going? one of our buddies from the restaurant, and uh, we're, we're today we've got a couple of our this weekend's blues acts. We have uh, live blues on Saturday and Sunday for brunch, and we're keeping Chicago's great art form alive on brunch. Really? And I what, know what time of day is that? It's noon to three. The okay. br brunch starts at eleven. The music starts at noon, goes till three, and they're all the best players in town are coming through, and they you know they've been wonderful. And for me, it's great because when they said you're going to have Saturday, Sunday brunch, and I said I got to get out of bed on Saturday and Sunday morning, I'm going to have the blues. Yeah. Yeah. Good music. So therefore, good music I'm going to have the up. blues. Yeah, right? yeah. good music oh, will get you up. Oh, that's terrific. I went and saw a buddy guy just a couple Saturdays ago. I'm so going next week before right he's up, done. Right up wow. my alley. So that's awesome. terrific. Good deal. And, and your place, uh, again, tell folks where you are. We're at uh, 315 North LaSalle, right yeah. at the river. And uh, it's a... Uh, uh, corner of South, uh, I'm sorry, Northeast Corner. Yep. And uh, we're open seven days a week, two shifts a day, lunch and brunch, dinner seven nights, promoting that Sunday dinner feel. Yep. It's been a great concept. People come in, they sit down, they share the roast, and and that's it. John, if people beautiful. want more information on this recipe right here and where they can find the blues on a good Saturday or Sunday morning, what's your web address? Uh, it's uh, River Roast Shy. Dot com, and you can find gotcha. us on uh, also on Facebook and Twitter at River Roast Shy. Okay, Fantastic. good deal. And you're sharing that recipe for our viewers on our yeah. website, myfoxchicago.com. Yeah. It's pretty good in there, John. I'm telling you. You guys want to try a little? <laughs> yeah, we got to go to break now. Okay, Maybe yeah. during the break. Excellent. Thanks for coming. You got it.